Good morning. Welcome to the flow this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, yes. There is a flow in the spirit. Let's do it this morning. Welcome to the School of Holy Spirit. I am Bishop Carletta J. Vaughn. I'm a new metabolist and I teach Holy Spirit in this last day. Hallelujah. Come on in. There is a flow. Yes, there is. In the spirit. Yes, yes. Teach us. Teach us. Hallelujah. To enter in. Come on in. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. There is a flow. Oh, yes. In the spirit. Yes. Teach us. Let's get our Instagram family in. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Zoomers. God bless you. Good morning. Come on in. There's a flow. Yes, yes. In the spirit. In the spirit. Woo! Yes, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the flow. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good afternoon. Where you're coming in from the timeline. God bless you. In the spirit. Yay. There are rivers. Streams of life, yes. Hallelujah. Now gushing forth. Hallelujah. Good morning, IG. Good morning. Yes, I do. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. There is a flow. Good morning, my sweet pretty sister. Good morning, Dr. Hunter. Pastor John J. Davis. Overseer Ryan, get your class in. Good morning, my Kelly Kelly. Good morning, my bishop. Good morning, Bishop Herbert Jackson, your grace. Hallelujah. Good morning, Tracy Reynolds Robinson. Gloria Dean Flora. Tammy Roberts. Come on, Cathedral, let's go. Suzanne Levi Roberts, Galen Thomas. Woo. Come on, somebody write it in the chat. There's a flow. There's a flow. Woo. Good morning, Sister Tanny. Praying for you and Annie B. Recovery. Beatrice Anderson Smith. Good morning and your precious family. Neil Waller. Come on, come on. Good morning, Mama Wanda Craig. <laughs> yes, yes. Good morning, Pastor Folsom. Thank you for the share. Suzanne, good morning. There's a flow. Somebody write it down. IG, put it in the chat. There is a flow. Yes, yes, yes. Good morning, Deacon Emirat. And good morning, Peg. God bless you, Pastor Jemison. Good morning, Chaplain. Come on in. Good morning, good morning, Dr. Mildred Watson. Good morning, Dr. Kadisha. Good morning. Yes, Wendella. Good morning, Natanya Phoenix. Sunday Summers. Teach us. Woo. Yes, God. That on the Austin. There is a flow. There is a flow. Don't let, don't let yourself get tricked. There's a flow. There or there. Yes, 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 yes. Good morning, Mama Pearl, Papa Noray. Ruthie, you better sing. <laughs> Sonia Wilson, good morning, Dr. J. Overseer Ryan, get him in here. Come on, Bishop Herbert, you was there. Sophie Ware, Latanya Phoenix, Dr. Patricia James. Woo! Shout out to our Open up our ears. You hear that? Yes, yes. Teach us. Teach us. Good morning, my beautiful daughters. Good morning. 
Good morning. Yes, Pastor Rita Bill. Good morning, Michelle Kelly. Good morning, Pastor Janard. Hey, son. Yes, yes, God. Yes, open up your mouth. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, flow, flow, flow. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. A double hushka. Yes, got a double hushka. Let it flow. Hallelujah. Flow, flow, flow. <laughs> the river's flowing again. Flow, come on in. Praise him, praise him. Yes, we're flowing this morning. We're flowing this morning. Flow. Oh. Hallelujah, the river. Flowing again, flow. Hey, shatalabohuskatama. Yes, God, the river, the river is flowing again, flow. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. The river, hey, Daba. Come on in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, shatalabohusa. Yes, yes. Flowing again. Flow. Come on in. Thank you, God. We're flowing this morning. We're flowing this morning. Yes, yes. Flow. Hallelujah. Yeah, yes. Come on, Marjorie. <laughs> Yes, come on, Tish. That's our evangelist. Come on, the people connected. That's her, Dr. J. So you was oh, shot out of the boat. Oh, shit. Good morning, Dr. Sabrina, my sorrow, my sister. Hey. Good morning, Elder Kathy, Elder Jones. Let's go. Woo! Good morning, Sister Wingo. Hey, Kimberly Martin. Dr. Miyoshi. Hey, Pastor Sheila. Let's go. Hey, Denise Curry. Thank you all. Woo! Anisha Swain. Pastor William Lamone. Good morning, Marcia Wilson. Come on, you working. Let's go. Woo! your hands. Come on. The river is flowing again. That's Janine. Dr. Patricia Jackson, Wendella Burroughs. Lift your hands. Come on. Flow, flow, flow. Oh my God, my God, my God. When you think about the river is flowing again, I saw something and I read something this morning from one of my apostle brothers that God is ascending God. God is ascending God. Somebody's going to catch this. That God is ascending God. Sending. S-E-N-D-I-N-G. Apostle Daryl O'Neill. I got to give him this one. This that first time. He says that how God Father sent Son Jesus. And how Jesus, Son, sent Holy Spirit. And how Holy Spirit sends the church. That thing took me out that God is a sending God. That God is a sending God. Ernest Alexander, Mary Newton, Marsha Menise. Good morning, Evangelist Harper, Barbara Dugan, Demetria. Let's go, let's go. God bless you, Evangelist Dekeba. Hallelujah. Woo, 
Ooh, Kimberly Reese, hey, sissy and family, greet mother for me. Kimberly Martin, our Sherry Barnes Johnson. Good morning, good afternoon, Mary Ann Madison. I want y'all to catch that, Jerlene, that God is ascending God. Woo, Rabbi Hasha. It was such a mighty outpouring yesterday at the cathedral. The word, the worship, the worship, the word. It was just rich. It was so rich. It was like a, a rich gravy. It was just so rich. It was just so rich. Oh, it's like gravy on a, a good gravy when you got a little piece of rice and you make a good gravy. Oh, it was just so delicious. So rich. And I'm, I'm aware, and it helped me to understand that God is ascending God. He's preparing a people, Ruthie. He's preparing a people, Kimberly Blair. God is preparing a people because he's ascending God. You are going to be deployed. Hallelujah. And this is why it's so critical that we can hear and respond. Somebody write that down. Somebody write that down. God is ascending God. Flow. So, yeah, good gravy. Come on, Loretta. <laughs> Woo, Doc, Dr. Folsom, God is preparing a people that he's going to send. Woo, God. God is preparing a people that he is going to send. Woo. Shout out to the Lord. Flow, flow, flow. Can you flow in the spirit? Are you flexible enough? Are you fluid enough to flow in the spirit of God? That when God, by his spirit, speaks to you, whether it's by a word, whether it's by a gift, a person, are you flexible enough to flow? Woo, do you need 19 confirmations? God is ascending God. He is preparing a people that he's going to send to the world for the end time revival. Ooh, you can't fool me with this one. I know this. I know it. I know it. It's a critical time. Our hearing is critical. You don't want to miss. Come on. Don't let sorrow, don't let sadness, don't let life dull your ears and have you miss the flow. God is a sending God. Mm -mm. God, the Father, sent Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, the Son, sent Holy Spirit. <laughs> Hallelujah. And Holy Spirit is sending the church. He is a sending God. <laughs> Let me say it one more time. Somebody grab this. Hallelujah. And God is preparing a people. Woo, come on here. Love you for life. God is preparing a people, Hazel Mosen, that can hear and respond. Woo, God is a sending God. Woo, come on, come on, somebody got to catch this, that he is ascending God. That the Father God sent Jesus' Son God. That Jesus' Son God sent Holy Spirit. And Holy Spirit is equipping a people to send. And so... When we are talking about Bishop Jackson, when we are talking about church, we're not talking about a holding place. We are talking about a sending place. That the church of the Lord Jesus Christ must rise up to meet the need in the earth for warriors, for those who have been skillfully trained in the spirit that God is equipping a people by his spirit and so our training and our equipping by the spirit of God 
is taking place. And this is why you feel the discomfort. You feel the, 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 the you can, you can sense it. You, that there is something bigger than us happening. There's something bigger than us, Valerie Thomas, Tanya Graham. There's something bigger than you, Mary Young and Deborah Wilson and myself. There's something bigger than you and I happening in the spirit realm. The church is not a holding place. The church is a sending place. So he has raised up apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers that we might equip the saints to do the work of the ministry, to, to perfect us, to mature us, to, to cause us to grow up into the fullness of the stature of the measure of the Lord Jesus Christ, Pastor Barry. And now God is saying to us, we must, we must, we must be able every day to hear. We must, folks. I cannot stress this. I cannot stress this enough that we must be able to hear. Pastor Jannard, we must be able to hear. Those of you that are viewing on YouTube in the replay, those of you that are watching later, I want you to hear this and share it on your pages. Hallelujah. You may feel as if you have reached a pinnacle of your, your day, your life, uh, your assignment, but you have not because an end time move is happening right now. An end time move is already in place. An end time move of God is occurring already. And we must be able to hear. We must be able, Pastor Staples, we must be able, Kai Kai. We must be able, Carletta J. Vaughn, to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. You must be able to hear and you must appropriately adjust your response time. I'm still there. So I want us to say this, Holy Spirit, incline my ear to hear and obey. Mm. Hallelujah. Type that if you will and say it out of your mouth. Woo, Sister Watts. There's a music. There's a sound for the Levites. I hear this this morning. There's a sound. Hallelujah, it's already happening. We were sharing yesterday with some of the saints in their celebration of their birthdays. And we were listening to Todd Delaney. And we were listening to uh, Jonathan Nelson. We were listening to uh, others, uh, Miranda Curtis and others. And over the last 10 years, God has released a sound in the earth, a sound. It's a different sound of worship, Sandra. It's a different sound, Sheila. I want to call the Levites to the forefront of the class this morning. Come here. Come in. Come here. Come here. Those of you that are Levites, come in. Come in closer. I want you to stand in front of the class this morning because I need to speak to those of you that are gifted in music, worship, and arts. Come to the front of the class. Hallelujah. I'm calling for the Levites now. There is a formation taking place. Yes, God. There is a formation taking place. And I need, I need the worship leaders. Come to me. Come, come now. If you're a pastor, get your worship here. Your worshipers, if you are a psalmist, if you are a minstrel, you are a musician. Bratoko, you are a songwriter. Mandio Kaba and come, 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 come to the front. Come to the front. Woo! There is a sound that only the Levites can release. Come to the front. Come on, Omega. Come on. There is a sound. That you must incline your ear to hear. 
and you, the Levites, must reproduce the sound in the earth realm. There is a sound that is happening in the spirit realm already. And those of you that are psalmists, those of you that are minstrels, Levites, musicians, songwriters, lyricists, those of you that are in the music industry of marketing and public relations, I hear the spirit of the Lord say to you now, there is a sound in the heavenlies. You do not have to make it up. But you must incline your ear. Hey, come to hear what the sound already is. And you must reproduce that sound in the earth. And the Levites shall lead us. And the Levites shall create a culture and a climate that will shift the lives of millions of people. That will shift the trajectory of millions of people long before the sound of the preacher arrives. Hear the word of the Lord. I need the psalmists and the minstrels and the Levites. Get your teams here right now. Get in front of the class. I need you to come to the front. Preaching will not produce this sound. It will be the Levites. I hear the drums. Ikato shata. I hear the clanging cymbals. I need the instruments. Those of you that are on the instruments, you must incline your ear to hear and to obey the sound and to reproduce it. Those of you that are from other countries, other ways of worship and sounds, will be critical. It would not be an American sound. Uh, there, there are those, you know, you have reggae, you have calypso, you have gospel. You have, it's not important, the genre. The genre will not be relevant. What will be relevant is the sound. So I'm calling the psalmist the Levites, the songwriters, the instruments, I'm calling you to hear what the Spirit is already producing in the heavenlies. We will not sing the songs of trouble and struggle and barely making it and afraid. Afraid. We must shift the sound to be a sound of the spirit that already is, that will agree in the heavens, that the earth will come into agreement with what the sound already is in the heavenlies. I'm talking to somebody and I need you to come close. I need you to get your worshipers here because many of you are singing someone else's songs and, and they are not the songs of the sound. There is a sound. We will not sing the songs of struggle. We will not sing the songs of worry and of barely making it and of fear. We might, these are not the last day sounds. These are not the end time sounds. Come to me. Come close. I need you to hear me. 
There is a sound in my hand. Woo, shake, keep a shake, kataba. Woo, Pastor Lots. I love you, baby. I thank God for you this morning. I want you to hear the sound in the spirit. Preachers, pastors, apostles, prophets, those of us that are in the fivefold. Hataba hoshkata. Reba baba hasata. You must. Emaniosha. You must. You must hear the sound as you bring the word. You must hear the sound as you hear the word to preach to the people of God. And the sound of the word and the sound of the worship must be the same. Oh, Shabbat. Oh, I'm calling the choir directors, come to me. I'm calling the choir members, come, 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 come. Let me tell you what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Incline your ear to hear, Apostle Stallings. Incline, we must raise up a sound. A sound. Come, come, intercessors, come to me. Come to me. Come closer, come closer. As you are a part of this end time move, your prayers must have the sound. The prayers that the intercessors are praying cannot be the sound of fear and struggle and begging and hoping. The prayer of the intercessor now must be declarations. Prophetic, prophetic declarations. That the spirit of God is speaking to the Levites. The spirit of God is speaking to the psalmists. The spirit of God is speaking to the musicians. The spirit of God is speaking to the lyricists and the songwriters. The The last 10 years. The Spirit of the Lord has been changing the sounds. Has been changing the sounds. I hear the Spirit of the Lord say, the intercessors, you must now not ask for, but declare a thing. As you hear what the Spirit is saying to the church, you must declare it. You must open your mouth and declare it. I'm talking to the choirs and the choir directors. I'm talking to those of us who sing the hymns of the Lord. And we sing and we pull and we push in the atmosphere to create a climate for the move of the Holy Spirit. We must hear the same things. Oh God, the popular, the sorrowful, the insecure, the fearful, the begging, the le the one, the sound that does not produce faith, does not produce, does not produce the manifestations. Those are not the sounds of this current era. There must be one voice, one sound. You can't have a choir singing one thing and the worship team is singing something different. Different songs, but the same sound. And the only way that you are going to hear the sound is you must incline your ear. You must make it a point that your ear, your ear, the ear of your spirit, even the ear that is your natural ear, you must align your ear to hear and to obey. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There is a new release. There is a new release. God says, I am. He said, you will notice that the sound has changed. It was at one point, uh, 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 it was more of a, a entertainment. It was more of a, 
uh, consolation. Uh, there was more of it, but But now there is a sound. Pastors, you must invest in the sound. Whatever it costs. And it might be the heaviest area of your revenue. It might be the heaviest component of your budget. I'm speaking by the spirit of the Lord. Senior leaders, I need you to hear me. Invest in the sound. Invest in the sound. That may be for the next few years, the, 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 the heaviest area of your budget. But you are investing in the sound. And do not be fearful. Do not be fearful. If they can produce that sound, then they are worth whatever they ask. Hear me now. Hear me. Hear me. Hey, Kashka. Woo, shata da ba'ashka. Now, hata, wata. Ask God to send laborers. Pray for laborers. Pray for those, Mika, who are skillful in music, in tapestry, in dance. I'm calling the prophetic dancers forward. Come to me. Come to me. Those of you that have sat down. Those of you that have put away, I'm not just talking about waving flags. I'm not just talking about that. I'm talking about prophetic sounds that come from your feet. Prophetic displays that come from the movement of your garments and the movement of the, of the, of the ropes and the tassels and the flags. I'm calling for the Levites. Those of you that go before the Ark of the Covenant. It is not the preacher. The preacher is behind the Levites. The Ark of the Covenant doesn't lead out. The Ark of the Covenant does not lead out. Harpists, come on Leah. Harpists, flautists, saxophonists, clarinetists, pianists. I'm calling for you to come forth. Because the Ark of the Covenant does not lead the procession. Signs, wonders, miracles, the Word of God does not lead the procession. It is the Levites who are consecrated, Rosanna, who are consecrated, who are living a life that they can hear the sound. Call for laborers. In the area of the prophetic, call for laborers. In the area of the minstrels, I know pastors, and sometimes uh, we look at the money that's coming in, and all of it seems to be going into one department. But this is the department in this season that you must invest in. This is the department that you must vet invest in. Pastors, you cannot get a sound from a twenty-five dollar musician. You cannot get that sound. You're going to have to invest in the skillfulness and the maturity of a sound. The sound is going to produce the culture and the climate for the Ark of the Covenant to come forth, for the Word of God, for the signs, the wonders, and the miracles to come forth. Come on, Pastor Benny. Woo, it has to be an authentic sound. The worship leaders, the Spirit of the Lord says, you must call for shut-ins. Mm. Oh, not the whole church. Woo, but the Levites must call for times of prayer and seeking the Lord. Woo, for many of you are ministering from the place of a gift. Many of you are ministering from the place of a gift. Oh, but I hear the Lord say there will be mountains and huddles. There will be those who are on the mountain of worship, who are in the place of the arts. 
I'm calling for those of you that are skillful, even in the paintings and the drawings, in the name of Jesus, that you too will give a visual representation of the sound for many cannot hear. But they can see it. Many of you are not ministering from a place of consecration. And the Lord says, I will shut you down. He said, I will shut you down. He said, shut yourself down first. You are not ministering from a place of purity. You are not ministering from a place of consecration. You are ministering from the place of a gift. And the Lord said, I will shut you down. I will shut you down for in this hour, there cannot be a sound that is not the sound of heaven. Hey, your life must have the sound in it. Your consecration must have the sound in it. You must have the sound in your bones. You must have the sound in your spirit. Your body has to be consecrated to produce this sound. You are not ministering from the place of a consecration. Many of you are ministering from a place of a good voice. Oh, uh, uh, you, you, can, you can play a good chord. God said no. He said I will shut you down in the next six months. He said you will begin to see the Levites shut down. You've seen it among the leadership. But you're going to see it among the psalmists and the worshipers. And those who come before me with strange fire. You are not ministering from a place of purity. You are ministering from a gifting. You are ministering from a song you heard on the radio. You're not ministering from a place of consecration and fasting. You're not fasting. You're not seeking his face. You're ministering from a place of gifting. And you are a problem to the sound. Musicians sharpen your skills. It will not just be in your chords and your progressions. It will not just be, it will be a it will be in your practice. It will be as you practice, as you rehearse, as you strengthen your skills. And the Spirit of the Lord will begin to downpour to you a sound. And God said, I'll put it in your fingers. Glory to God. I'll put it in your fingers. Dancers, I'll put it in your feet. Oh, Those of you that draw, that paint, hallelujah. He said, I'll put it in your hands. Those of you that write music, God said, I'm reviving that. I'm putting it back. I'm giving it back to you in even a triple measure, said the Lord. Yeah, there is a sound. Oh, there is a sound, saints. Yeah, and the saints that are dying, the saints that are on the edge, the saints that are lost in the valleys, the saints that are shriveling and drying up for dehydration shall begin to come back to life. Ooh, but it is vital, it is vital that those of you that lead out must hear and obey. And all of us will benefit. If the Levites, if the Levites... I hear the Lord say, strengthen your skills. Some of you are skillful, but you have an old sound. It's not the sound of today. Many times the spirit of the Lord has shifted dimensionally. The spirit of the Lord has shifted dimensionally. And many of you are still caught in an old sound. And it does not minister to the atmosphere. Because you have not caught up. You don't know that the sound has shifted. You are not aware of how the spirit of the Lord is is moving and I hear uh, the word of warning to those of us uh, who minister in this arena that all all of you in the ministry of music and arts you must pay attention to other sounds you cannot be your own sound you cannot take on your own sound 
it must agree with the sound that is coming from heaven. And many of you are unaware. You are not aware of what spirit has done. So you go back to the familiar. You go back to the old. But you are not producing the right sound. And you must be careful for those of you that this is your livelihood. For those of you that supplement your livelihood, you will lose your assignments if you cannot master the sound. You must pay attention to what the spirit is saying in other places. You must be aware of the, of the, of the African sound. You must be aware of the Asian sound. You must be aware of what God is doing in the Caucasian world. You must be aware. You're not aware. You are caught in an old sound. Asha. Ooh, and many of you are still producing an old sound. You're not producing the fresh sound of the spirit. And this is the problem. And it doesn't always mean that it's new songs. But some of the old songs have the sound. They were birthed in the sound. It doesn't mean that it's all new. It doesn't mean that it's all contemporary. It doesn't mean that there's no anthems. It doesn't mean that there's no hymns. It does not mean that everything is a contemporary praise and worship song. Some of you will write hymns. Some of you can't. And you will wonder why are they terminating me? Why are they letting me go? Because you don't produce the sound. And it is a personal consecration. Woo, worship leaders must call for times of prayer and seeking the Lord. Thank you, Leah, for until you hear the sound. Many of you are producing an old sound that you are familiar with. Many of you are producing an old sound that has been dead and that has, has lost its impact 20 years ago. But that's the only sound you hear because your lack of consecration. So the Spirit of the Lord is calling for us who are Levites, those of you that are minstrels you are you must minister from a place of consecration spirit of the lord says to the leaders mm, uh, be mindful of those that will infiltrate those uh who have a consecration do not add people because of talent add people because they are sensitive add people because they are flexible add people because they are submitted do not add people to your worship team that are not living a consecrated life for this will pollute the sound mm. he said i'm not just hearing what comes from your voice but i'm hearing what comes from your life Mm. Call each other into accountability. Check each other and make sure. And do not continue to give opportunities and chances. One time speak to it. If it doesn't correct itself, you must remove it. Because it will pollute the sound. You are not minute man in the osha. You cannot risk this. Pastors, you can't risk it. Speak to your ministers of music and your head people. Speak to those people and say, that person doesn't belong. That person can't stay. That person cannot come on that stage again because the lifestyle is polluting your sound. You have to be mindful. You cannot train a person to be consecrated. You can train a person to play an instrument. You can train a person to sing a song, but you cannot train a person to be consecrated. They have to want it out of their spirit. Pastors, you let too much go forth and the sound will get polluted and the cloud will move. Woo! Incline my ear to hear and obey. Speak to your intercessors and keep them on a short rope. Because what the intercessors declare out of their mouth is what will take place in your house. Keep, uh, keep them on a short rope. Do not turn your back to those that you have placed in the role of intercession. You must give them what to pray. You must hold them accountable to pray what the spirit of the Lord has spoken to you as a chief leader. 
Remember that the apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers are the chief Levite in the house. You must hold your intercessors accountable for what they are praying. You can't turn your ear. You can't turn your ear. You can't say, well, they're the prayer one. No, you must hold them accountable and keep them on a short road. Because what they declare out of their mouth is what shall come. Leaders, you have to take the front. You have to take the lead in this. And you must and I must be consecrated. We must be consecrated. Or we will pollute the sound. The reason that I started today with there is a flow in the spirit is because of the words that God spoke to me. Teach us to hear. Hmm. Teach us to listen. I just sense this in the spirit this morning that there are worship teams and psalmists and Levites and singers and you already know that God has spoken to you to put yourself on a timeout. Hmm. Don't let your leader have to come to you and put you on a timeout. Put yourself on Put yourself on a timeout. You already know God has spoken to you. And here is where many of us in five-fold ministry, this is where some of us get it wrong. We give you too many chances. Mm. I can give you chance in the choir. I can keep giving you chances as an usher. I can keep giving you opportunity in the media ministry. I can keep giving you chances. But in the Levitical office, in the Levitical in the Levitical offices of the priests and the worshipers, there are not multiple opportunities for you to get it right. Mm -mm. You say why? Why? Because you pollute the sound. Oh, you can't come from the club and stand on the stage. No, sir, and lead worship. You just can't do it. We can't allow it. You pollute the sound. It am I I can I can give you opportunities if you're working in helps and you're working in the culinary, you're working in the parking lot. I can give you multiple opportunities. But when it comes to the Levitical offices, I there is not much opportunity that we can give you. And this is where, as, as five-fold ministry leaders, the senior pastor, the senior apostle, this is where we sometimes, we get it wrong. Holy Spirit speaks to us and says, what is that? And we say, well, okay, I'm going to let them handle it. But when the Holy Spirit speaks to you about it, as the chief Levite, that is God by his spirit saying, that is going to pollute the sound in this house. Oh, sometimes you got to set them down. Sometimes you got to give them a time. I say, I need you to take six months. I need you to take a year. I need you to take some time. We would, we appreciate your voice. We appreciate your voice. We appreciate that your willingness to come to rehearsal and learn the music. However, I, I, I can't allow that the consecration level is not there. You cannot turn the worship team into a praise team. Ekaba. Woo, rabakashka tananasia. Woo, bababashika dorabo ushka. On a praise team, let everything that have breath praise the Lord, but on a worship team. And you must discern what you are producing. Is it a worship team or is it a praise team? Everybody needs to hear what I'm saying by the Spirit of God today. Prayer warriors, intercessors, psalmists, worship leaders, artists. Those of you that are in minstrel, in music ministry, you are the minstrels. Woo, you must take your times out because you will connect, you contaminate the atmosphere. Not because you are a mean person. Not because of that. No, but because your consecration level is too low. Woo, Rabakash Katat. Sometimes you have to sit yourself down. Sometimes you have to say, I'm not in Bible study like I should. I'm not in prayer. I didn't do the fast this year. The bishop called the fast and you didn't do the fast. Sit yourself down. 
Sit yourself down. You didn't come to pray. Sit yourself down. Because you are you you are behind. You you don't have the sound. Don't let yourself uh, get in a position where somebody has to say it to you. You already know it. Oh, Rabahashkete, Rabahanda. He that have ears mm, must hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. I read this in the book of Revelation over and over again. It was critical. When John was on the Isle of Patmos, he saw many things, but it was the sound. It was the voice. When you go, go with me to the revelation of Jesus Christ, the last book of our canon, verse 10, come with me, come with me, come with me, come with me. Oh, come with me. Get your Bibles. Get your Bibles, folks. This word is this word is hot. I'm telling you, I'm trying to get it out. Oh, I hear the Lord. Listen to what Revelation 1, verse 10 says. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Oh, <laughs> I was in the spirit on the Lord's day, verse 10, and I heard behind me, <laughs> a loud voice like that of a trumpet. Go with me to that. Go with me to that. Woo, shatarabakishka. John the revelator as the old Baptist folks say was on the Isle of Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ that's verse 9 And verse 10 says, and I was in the spirit <laughs> on the Lord's day. <laughs> Listen. And I heard behind me a loud voice as of a trumpet. Saying, I am Alpha and Omega. Ooh, come on here, snap back. Listen to me carefully. I am Alpha, Pastor Tony Lee, and Omega. Come on, IG. The first and the last. And what you see, write in a book and send it to the seven churches which are in Asia, to Ephesus, to Smyrna, to Pergamos, to Thyatira, to Sardis, to Philadelphia, and to Laodicea. Verse 12. And then I turned... <laughs> To see the voice that spoke with me. Ooh, I want to stop right there. Mm. Ooh, just slip your hands up right there. Ooh, Do you realize that the Bible that we read and hold dear to us is a book of sound. God, you speaking today. Do you realize that the Bible that we love, that we preach from, that we hold dear to us, is a book of sound? Peter says that holy women and men of God wrote as the Spirit of the Lord moved them. It was a sound. 
John is on the Isle of Patmos, Tiffany. And while he is on the Isle of Patmos, when he was in the spirit, that means that something had engulfed him in a place. He was in the spirit on the Lord's day. And it was a voice. It was a sound. It was a sound. And the voice gave instructions. Gave clear instruct. Write what I'm going to show you. And where to send it. Ephesus. Smyrna. Pergamos, Thyatira, Sardis, and Philadelphia. The entire revelation of John was predicated on what he heard. What are you hearing? What is the Spirit of God speaking to you? What is the spirit of God speaking to you? Oh, come on, IG. Come on, Zoom. I, what? Facebook. What is the spirit of God speaking to you? What sound? What sound? What are you hearing? And how long does it take you? To respond to the sound. What are you hearing? You have to ask yourself. What am I hearing? The entire book of Revelation. Is a sound that John heard. And he obeyed. We would not. We would not see the end time. We would not see. The end time. We would not see it. If John. Had not heard. And obeyed. What he heard. The voice say. Oh God, Ooh, what am I hearing? What am I hearing? Psalmists, musicians, leaders, Levites, what are you hearing in the mountain of government? What are you hearing in the mountain of education? What are you hearing in the mountain of law and business and media? And uh, what are you hearing? And what are you producing? And what is the impact of it. This, the, the day is over when people are praying and we don't see no answers. The day is over. The day is over. The day is over when you have a group of intercessors and they're praying and you as the Levite, the chief Levite, don't see any results. What are they hearing? The day is over when people come and the worship and the arts is not in alignment with the sound of heaven. There's a sound of heaven. Oh, Ruthie, we got to pull that sound. There's a sound. What are we hearing? What are we producing? The day is over. Where we cannot see results. We don't see manifestations. Oh, you got to be careful because you will have people that will be up singing and they're not in alignment with the chief Levite sound. I remember when Mother Boyd would come to our church and she said, Bishop, I need your musician because mine don't have my spirit tonight. <laughs> Woo, I didn't understand Mother at the time. She, she would get her musician would travel and come to be where she was at the cathedral. I've seen her in different places. And she would say, Bishop, 
She look over there at her music and say, get up. Say, you ain't got my spirit tonight. Woo! <laughs> and she would say, Bishop, I need your musician. My God, I'd be praying so hard. Pastor Val and those that was there would get on the organ and I would be praying in the spirit, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, let them have the right sound. Mother say, you don't have my spirit tonight. I'm producing a sound over here and you producing another sound. Listen to me carefully. This is the confusion that the enemy wants to have. Pastors, you got to invest. Pastors, you got to spend time. You got to correct. You got to align. You can't let people fly on their own. You have got to give instructions and boundaries and you must hold them accountable. If there are no results. Oh, Shakisha. What are you hearing, folks? What are you hearing and what are you producing? You got, you got the ushers producing one sound. You got the prayer warriors producing another sound. You got the Levites producing another sound. People produce, you got too many sounds. It cannot be confusion in this hour. Woo, Rabbi Kashkata. Mother would stop the service, Dr. Felicia, and say, get up. Get up! <laughs> you don't have my spirit tonight. Listen to me. I, I, I want you to hear this. We can't drag this. John says, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. And I heard behind me a loud voice as of a trumpet. Verse 12. And I turned to see the voice. That spoke to me. Good God Almighty. Woo, Shataba. Woo, Shandidididiosha. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. I want you to pray this. Holy Spirit, incline my ear to hear and to obey. Woo, Shataba. Our leaders got one sound, <laughs> the team got another sound. There cannot be a division in the sound. And it comes that all would be in the same place of consecration. The same place of submission. The same place. The same place. That everybody is hearing the same sound. Holy Spirit, incline my ear to hear and obey. There must be one sound. I'm not talking about genres. It's a sound. Please hear me. I'm not talking about genres. Whether it's a hymn, an anthem, a contemporary song. That's not it. It's does it have the sound. And the people that bring it are singing and ministering and writing and serving and preaching from a place of consecration and not a place of giftedness. When you don't hear the right sound, calamity is inevitable. When you follow the wrong sound, Calamity is inevitable. And as we work our way through the revelations this week, as we work our way through this, I want you to begin to pray this prayer today. Holy Spirit, incline my ear to hear and obey. I got to go. <laughs> Woo, Shande, Hataba. Go back and put this on your pages. Hear this. Let every psalmist, minstrel, musician, every person that's in the arts, prophetic dance, those of you that draw, that paint, hear this now. Put this on your pages. Share it with your teams. Sit down with them 
and hear this word today because it is the Levites that will produce this sound. The Ark of the Covenant comes behind the Levites. Intercessors, you are part of the Levitical team. You're not independent. You're not on your own. Sit down and hear and let us all pray. Holy Spirit, incline my ear to hear and obey. I got to go. Woo, Rabbi Kashkete. How did he